Well, all bets are off the table, essentially, as the government really is cracking down on online gambling. Friday, seizing the domain names of three leading Internet poker sites that do business here in the United States and indicting 11 people in the process. Our next guest, though, says this is more of a money grab than anything else, as Greg Raymer joins us. He's a World Series of Poker champion in North Carolina today. It was illegal, though, wasn't it, Greg? <coughs> Well, I don't think online poker is illegal under federal laws. Um, state of Washington has a law. The indictment, you know, has discussion of New York state law, but uh, based on the legal analysis that I've heard from other people who know a lot more about New York law than I do, right? Um, you know, this isn't illegal under that either. This is really going to test the, uh, and I guess to your larger point, this is really going to test these laws because some of the state laws do make it illegal federally, uh, maybe not the case. But the argument that I've heard from the industry, and maybe I'm sure you would probably subscribe to this, you maybe articulate it better than I can, but if a game involves a skill, in other words, if you're not just pulling down a lever at a slot machine or just throwing dice and hoping for the best, if there's a skill involved, then it might not necessarily be gambling either. It's defined differently. Is that true in your mind? Well, that's certainly a very pertinent argument, mostly because a lot of state laws about gambling make that distinction between whether it's a game of skill or a game of chance, because those states still want people to be able to do things like have PGA golf tournaments in their state, tennis tournaments, other things like that. And, and that's kind of how you differentiate something like real gambling, like betting on roulette, right. and a skill game like golf or tennis, and the question is, well, where does poker lie on that spectrum? And, of course, we believe it's much more of a skill game. Right. So you're in the camp, obviously, being a poker champion, that, that the poker is a skill game. And you should uh, be able to, well, I guess, essentially play it uh, for money. What do you think the effect, though, of this, uh, this action by the government is going to be? It's a pretty, pretty big deal, though, money-wise, for a lot of people like you. Oh, it's a big deal. I mean, it doesn't impact me as directly as it might have. Um, I used to represent the biggest online poker site in the world, and I terminated that relationship a couple of months ago. We couldn't agree on terms to renew a contract. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with this issue today. Didn't know this was coming. But uh, it's really just a money grab, I think. Um, you know, I would estimate the Department of Justice and the FBI has literally put tens of thousands of man hours and therefore millions of dollars into their investigation leading up to this indictment, Right. they could have spent all that time and money getting people who are actually doing evil in the world, people who are hurting people. <laughs> That's like the Who's Barry the Bonds victim argument. here of online poker? Right. Yeah, who's the victim? There, there is no victim here until now. The poker players are now victims because there were literally thousands of people who loved to do this as a hobby and lots of other people who did it as a profession. They pay their taxes on April 15th, and then an hour or two later, they're told they're out of they're out of work. I'm you know, sure the there's a wider discussion in there down. about gambling addiction and um, the effect on society and everything else. But we'll leave it there for now, and we'll come back. We'll keep following this issue because it's going to be a big test in the courts. Greg, thank you very much. Good to talk to you again, Greg Raymer, poker champion. Thank you. Active traders, the new e-signal is here. If you depend on technical analysis and need a reliable solution, eSignal is right for you. eSignal quickly and easily shows you exactly what and when to trade. Simply scan for the best stocks, select and apply your strategy from powerful pre-built studies. Then use the new trade manager to execute your buys and sells. eSignal can pay for itself in just one or two trades. Call for your risk-free trial and be among the first to profit from the new features available in eSignal.